Friends and fellow Lions, my name is Paul Steele. I have the honor of being LCIF's development manager for Constitutional Area 4. Welcome to Constitutional Area 4's online recognition event. I'm honored to welcome recipients of Melvin Jones Fellowships and Melvin Jones Progressive Fellowships to today's event, along with Model Clubs and Campaign 100's lead and major donors. I hope your friends and family have also been able to join us today as we celebrate your involvement in LCIF's amazing work in our Lion community. As we tell the story of that work and its impact, you will see a list of lying lions being recognized in the 2020-2021 Lion Year with Melvin Jones Fellowships and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellowships. That list will appear on the right side of the screen. It will scroll as we continue to tell the story of LCIF's work uh, because you're all a part of that work. Fellows will be arranged by multiple district in alphabetical order. So please keep your eyes open for your friends and your family's names, and of course, for your own. If you would like to salute your friends and fellow lions in real time, you can log into YouTube and use the chat function. Your comments will be associated with your login name, and you can change your login name uh, to something that's lion specific if you like by accessing the options after you've created your account. A Google account will also allow you to log into YouTube. Just click the login button. Feel free to show your excitement and to support one another. I look forward to a time when we can all meet in person, but for this event, let's enjoy the moment that our fellow Lions have and celebrate and work together. Thank you so much and enjoy. Good evening, fellow Lions. It's wonderful to be speaking with so many of you today, even though from my home in Italy for this matching event. Thank you. Thank you all my fellow Alliance for joining for us for this unique, exciting and new event, a historic one, to celebrate us, the Lions of Constitutional Area 4 of Europe. I am proud to be Lion. I am proud since I founded my club in Ender Sicily almost 60 years ago last day. My Lion Pride became even greater when I served as the president of Lions Club International in 1994-95. And never it went down. And I suppose your pride is the same I have because we are part of something bigger than us. You and I, we are part of something that impacts millions of people around the world every year. It's great. I am honored to be the campaign under the International Committee Chairperson for Europe, as well as of the accomplishments we have made so far during this ambitious fundraising campaign overcoming incredible challenges to reach the point where we are today. And we must continue. We must continue pushing forward to each our ambitious goal. And we will. And we will because we are dedicated to Lions Club International Foundation, LSEIF, our global foundation, and to the amazing Lions Service, our service that empower it. Our contribution makes Lions and Leo's service possible today and for the decades to come. And it's important for millions of people in need. We know it. So, Please, do you, for that, it is my great pleasure and privilege to open this event and invite Alliance leaders from across Europe to share stories, 
of impact and success, to recognize dramatically generous donors and uh, to look to the future with the optimism. Join me, please, today, as we celebrate the amazing accomplishments of the lions of Europe, talk about the impact of our foundation and on behalf of the, all the suffering people we help. Yes, indeed, feel proud as I am. God bless. My friend. Thank you, former President Grimaldi. Greetings, fellow Lions of Europe. How nice to join you for this milestone gathering of Lions and Leos throughout our constitutional area. First, I want to congratulate all of you who helped create our first constitutional area for online recognition event. What a wonderful way to celebrate those who support Lions Clubs International Foundation our foundation. Lions, thank you for giving us the opportunity to shine a very bright light on our global foundation, LCIF. As you all know, LCIF provides support to clubs just like yours, serving communities throughout the world by providing grants for large-scale projects which club cannot fund on their own. Since 1968, LCIF has awarded more than 1.1 billion US dollars to fund 1,600 grants. I'm sure it comes as no surprise that awarding these grants takes funding. Please remember that 100% of each donation to LCIF goes directly back into our communities to support those in need. So you can be confident that every time you give to LCIF, and I hope you are giving what you can, you are making a difference in the life of a child, a family, a community, and the world. LCIF remains critical to Lion's ability to serve the world in need more than ever before. However, our service today looks different. Lions with creativity and resilience, we can each serve safely if we begin or continue supporting LCIF and expanding our service reach through LCIF's many grant programs. I am proud to serve alongside my fellow humanitarians. All of us in Europe have a great opportunity to make a difference, both at home and globally through LCIF. Storytelling is a powerful force for driving campaign support. Stories of Pride is our new global platform to celebrate our accomplishments at lcifpride.org. I would like to share with you just a few examples of impact we have both near and far. One is the story of, uh, of uh, Komastal Primary School in Namibia. For those of us fortunate to have ready access to abundant food and well-equipped kitchen, it may be hard to fathom that not everyone does. Unfortunately, the kitchen in the Komastal School has fallen into despair and was neither clean nor safe. But today, students there enjoy nutritious meals prepared in a hygienic and closed kitchen. How is that possible? When our fellow lions in Germany learned of the kitchen that put children at uh, health at risk, they answered the call to create a healthier environment for these students. These generous lions knew they needed more than the funds they already collected locally so they applied for an LCIF grant of 25,000 US dollars. The result is the safe kitchen that feeds the students bellies and brains and lets them concentrate on learning and enhancing their social skills while interacting with their peers. Other amazing stories how LCIF is helping lions in Europe to make a difference in the world 
includes clean water in Africa, where lions in Sweden have been drilling for water in Tanzania and Somalia, and have provided thousands of people with clean, pure water. And the effects are, outbreak of cholera has ceased. Eye diseases are reduced. Health status is substantially improved. Reduced absence from school, more time for women to take care of their children. Easier for girls to attend school and so much more. Similar is the life-changing project of Lions of Austria with a 77,000 US dollar matching grant from LCIF to help Lions in Tanzania expand water access to several rural Tanzanian communities. You might have heard the story of Valentina Matiku, who spent the majority of her younger years trekking across the hot savanna of Tanzania for water so her family could drink and farm. Time spent on this task meant time not spent gaining education to forge a more promising future. Valentina's story is not unique. Today, she's in school, no longer burdened by daily water retrieval, thanks to the Lions of Austria. I'm grateful to see that while we may be lions in Europe, our kindness knows no borders. And just as important as helping our fellow world citizens are the creative ways we collaborate to support our local communities with the support of LCIF. We have so many great stories to share in all parts of Europe and in all course areas, like the youth diabetes camps in Finland or Romania, where the young people are informed on the development in diabetes care, in addition to ordinary youth camp program. But most important is to meet with their other youngsters with the same disease, to get new friends and peer support. Or the LEO service grants, including a new one in Portugal, where our younger members, the Leos, are working together with lions in their communities. Or the district and club community impact grants in Italy for school, health and well-being, and hunger relief. Or the Lions Quest programs, successful all over Europe, we are so proud of. Let me finish with one story of creative support of LCAF in Bosnia-Herzegovina. The only hospital providing cancer treatment for children did not have a follow-up program, with 75% of children experiencing complications after treatment. This was a serious issue. Lions, along with a local nonprofit organization, created a plan to provide uh, cost-free care to children nationwide through a mobile follow-up initiative. With nearly $37,000 37, in grant funding from LCIF, Lion, uh, Lions purchased a vehicle equipped with medical supplies needed for, to deliver follow-up care. Now a support team of doctors, nurses, psychologists, social workers, and educators can visit the homes of more than 200 children recovering from cancer each year, bringing much needed care, support, and hope. I hope these stories inspire you to take advantage of LCIF grant opportunities and expand the impact you want to make. You truly have a world of opportunity. Thank you for your support, resilience, and flexibility as we learn to navigate new ways of serving our community safely while moving through the pandemic. Thank you for tapping into the lion spirit that invigorates us all and focuses on what is possible. Together, let's enjoy this wonderful event. And now please join me in welcoming past international director, Claudette Cornette. 
Thank you, Chairperson Goodrun, for your uplifting words. You are an inspiration for all of us. Fellow Lions, I am past international director Claudette Cornet and serve as Campaign 100 International Committee Vice Chairperson for Constitutional Area 4. I am pleased to speak with you today about our Campaign 100, its goals, and the amazing progress that has been done. The Campaign 100 was launched during the Las Vegas International Convention in June 2018. Campaign 100 is the most ambitious fundraising campaign in our history. Its goal is to raise 300 million US dollars in three years. As Lions Club International enters a second century of service, our international foundation wanted to bring additional momentum to Lions service capacity to empower Lions service. To do so, it needed more resources to expand the field of its grants to Lions Club by integrating new causes as diabetes, childhood, cancer, hunger, environment. We seek to fundraise 300 million US dollars to empower Lion service, your service, my service, and the service of Lions and Leos worldwide. The goal of this campaign is 100% of Lions participation. The goal of this campaign is that Lions can help hundreds of millions of people in need through LCIF. It's also the goal of LCI. Today, where are we? Since July 2017, the 2017-2018 donations were integrated into the campaign donations. Globally, we have raised a bit more than $200 million. This is an incredible feat during these challenging times. However, to ensure success and achieve our goal, it was decided to extend the campaign by one additional year until June 2022. From now, with a little over one year remaining, we must fundraise approximately 100 million more. Reaching this goal will involve all of us. It will take more model clubs, more lions willing to take on the challenge of becoming a major donor. More of you taking the next step toward becoming a Melvin Jones Fellow or reaching new heads as a progressive Melvin Jones Fellow. It will also take more fundraising events benefiting LCIF. In Constitutional Area 4, we have fundraised nearly 21 million US dollars toward our overall goal of 49.6 million. We have come a long way and we must go even further during this final year. Over a year ago now, Europe was severely affected by the pandemic, which has touched the world. Our clubs had great difficulties to fundraise and major fundraising events that were scheduled could not be organized. Fortunately, with the vaccination that is developing everywhere, we start to see the end of the tunnel. Before the end of this fiscal year, a large European initiative will be able to take place the European LCIFD. My friend Robert Redby will tell all about it in a few minutes. It will be an occasion to raise funds in order to achieve the goal of June 2021. This will be an opportunity to put Europe back on the path to major Campaign 100 fundraising events to ensure the success 
of the final year. All of you here today have been strong supporters of LCAF and Campaign 100 from the beginning for some and more recently for others. We need lions like you to continue supporting the campaign to lead it to success. You are models for all our lions friends. As you know, there are over 200,000 lions in Europe and if your example could be followed by a majority of them, then we will achieve our ambitious goal. With lions like you all over the world, we can celebrate the success of the campaign, your campaign, on June 2022. Thank you, all committed lions. With lions like you, Lions Club International will remain the largest organization of service in the world. Thank you all for what you have done, for what you will continue to do to make the world a better place. It's now my pleasure to introduce my friend, Constitutional Area 4 Campaign 100 Vice Chairperson, Past International Director Robert Redby. Thank you very much, Piandi Claudette, Claudette, and thank you, former President Grimaldi and Chairperson Goodrell, for your inspiring words. It's truly an honor to be here with you all today, and indeed a great pleasure to be speaking on such a thrilling topic, the LCIF Campaign 100 and our upcoming European LCIF Day. As a Vice Chairperson of the Campaign International Committee in Constitutional Area 4, I've been in the front row to witness the outstanding generosity of the Lions of Europe. As PID Claudette mentioned, we have made amazing progress so far. She also mentioned we will have a way to go and only a little over one year left to meet our goals. So this year, the Lions of Europe will celebrate a new innovative event in the Lions world. This event is the LCIF Day. We are in Europe among the most diverse constitutional areas of our global association. We speak eight Lions-supported languages and dozens more in our communities. We also have a vast array of rich cultures and histories. Our diversity is one of our most powerful assets. This event, will be an opportunity for all of us to come together as one in support of our foundation and the Campaign 100. We are asking for every club in Europe, yes, every one of our 9,300 clubs to host a public event in their community. Lions of Europe will be out in their town squares, in their malls, in their parks, sharing the extraordinary impact of lioness, raising awareness about our global causes, and of course, raising funds for our Campaign 100. The goals of this event are threefold. First, we want to increase fundraising for LCIF, allowing our foundation to continue to efficiently support the humanitarian projects of our clubs and of our districts. Second, we want to provide a great opportunity to our clubs to serve. Fundraising is a service activity in itself, we will ask our clubs to report their service activity during the day and we'll see a stunning increase in service reporting. And third, we want to increase membership. Imagine the visibility we will get from the public and from the media as our clubs are all out there. Our members will feel pride and many in the public will be amazed and will want to join. There are so many future Lions and Leos in our communities. We want to provide this opportunity for them to learn about the greatest service organization in the world and about LCIF, showing them who we are and what we do as Lions around the world, especially with grant funding from our Global Foundation. This can open their eyes to what being a Lion brings. Let us be ambitious. What we can achieve together will impress not only our fellow Lions all over the world, but also the public and the media. 
we have the potential to raise many millions. Our individual donations as lines, starting with a few tens of dollars, with the sky as the limit, will also contribute to the success of this LCF day and of our campaign. The past year has been a challenge. The LCF day will allow us to come together again, stronger than ever. Join me and join your fellow lines in this first LCF day. It will be on June 12, and you will find out more on our dedicated website, lcifday.eu. I am proud now to welcome my good friend, LCF trustee and past international director, Sandro Castellana, who will share with you all about our foundation and its global impact. Thank you. Fellow Lions and supporters of LCIF, I am past international director, Sandro Castellana, and I am proud to join you all today as LCIF's Board of Trustee representative for Constitutional Area 4. Our foundation, LCIF, was founded in 1968 when our international association sought to create an official foundation of Lions Club International. LCIF was designed to provide additional support to clubs fundraising efforts and to make Lion service throughout the world even more impactful. To put it simply, LCIF was designed to support you, your club and your community. It is important to know uh, that LCIF is a division of Lions Club International and is just as much as part of LCI as any other division, membership, service activities, convention, etc. The only difference is that member dues do not cover the work and operation of LCIF. And this is because of LCIF nonprofit designation. This designation allows LCIF to use 100% of your donation for programs and grants, therefore having maximum impact on people we serve. Operation and development expenses are covered by the return of investment of LCIF fund. LCIF operates very simply. It receives financial donation evaluates grant request and need, and distributes grant funds that support CLEB's ongoing service in local communities and throughout the world. LCIF provides grant funding for large-scale projects that districts and CLEB cannot do alone, resulting in you being able to better serve your community. LCIF uh, plays a unique role, a role different from other nonprofit. While other organizations come into a community for a designated period of time and implement a project uh, or provide assistance, LCIF helps Lions implement program right in their own community. Lions are resident and have a long history and stake in making their community stronger. Lions and LCIF will still be there long after all others have departed. And that's unique and special and something few others can offer. If you are charitable, and support good works of charitable organization, and you are a lion and believe in service, why would you not make a charitable donation to the foundation that supports your lion service? LCIF can enhance the project your club support in your community, and also support lion's project all over the world. You all are here with me today because you have supported LCIF and Campaign 100 in the past. I want to thank you 
from the bottom of my heart for your generosity and ask you to please continue supporting LCIF, your foundation. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Castellana. Hello, I am past district governor, Christian Train, and I am a member of Saint Etienne Europe Trois Vallées Club in District Centre Sud in France. I join you to discuss and celebrate the community that Melvin Jones Fellows create. To end my talk, I will proudly share a list of Melvin Jones Fellows and Progressive Fellows from my region. As our event continues, other leaders will congratulate NGF and PNGF recipients from across Europe. I am glad you are here to celebrate our NGF and PNGF stories to see all our new fellows and progressive fellows. I have been a lion since 1997 and I am proud to have joined the first international association of the world. In 2002, I participated in the International Convention of Osaka. It's one of my most beautiful memories as Lion. I understood at that time how lucky I was to be a member of this great Lion's family who shares the same values all over the world. I was district governor during the year of the centennial and I focused on two items in addition to local service. Support our international foundation, promote our international dimension in our clubs, and encourage our members to participate in an international convention. I was happy because my district was the most represented district from France in Chicago. The Lions who participate in such an event come back with a new perception and will more easily give their support to international actions and to our foundation. Since the beginning of Campaign 100, I am LCIF MDC in France. I received my Melvin Jones Fellowship in 2011. I became a Melvin Jones Fellow because I know what lions do and I know it's important. I have enjoyed being a Fellow because wearing the pin allows me to tell people about the important work lions do. When I see another Fellow, I know we have similar beliefs in service and in supporting our communities by supporting Lions Club's International Foundation. This is true in Italy, Japan, Brazil, and globally. I know we have similar hopes for the world and a confidence in people. I am happy I can contribute in a way that is meaningful and impactful. Knowing I care about helping Lions makes others want to learn more about how we help and why. This learning is important. To those of you who have received your Melvin Jones Fellowships this year, it's a pleasure to celebrate you and welcome you to our fellowship. I look forward to talking with you when we can meet in person. Thank you for your service and your dedication. And now, my colleague, past council chairperson, Christine Hannesson, will share some thoughts on the Melvin Jones Fellowship and Leadership, PCC Hannesson. Thank you very much, PTK Train. It is a pleasure for me to speak with you all today. I am a member of Mosul Fire Alliance Club since October 1986. I've been invited to several fundraising events in this club and was interested to know a little more. I was then invited to attend regular meetings for six months and after that invited to join the club. I have a lot of good memories as a member of the club. 
we involve our families in a lot in our work. Uh, once every year, we have a bowling evening and our Joel exclusive golf tournament. We close every year by going horse riding and we start a new year with a camping weekend. The best memory, the best memory is though, when we do something for those in, who need our help, to see disabled young people who can ride in their new wheelchair or senior citizens who can train in equipment provided by the club. It gives values to the work of the Lions. The Melvin Jones Fellows I meet reflect the different forms leadership can take and the opportunities leadership people can find. There are so many different styles of leadership. Some people like live like they are always waving a flag. Everything they say and do and believe is clear out in the open for everyone to know. Other people prefer to lead by example but still have strong beliefs. We need a variety of Lions leaders in the world, and that's what we have found in Lions and Melvin Jones and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellows. It doesn't matter your gender or your nationality. It doesn't matter where you are from or what language you speak. Lions lead and the service we believe in unifies us. During my talk, I have shown the names of Melvin Jones Fellows and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellows from MTs 109 and 134. To them and to all being recognized later today, thank you very much for your great work. Keep up the good work and wear your pain proudly. It tells people what we stand for and gives them an opportunity to ask about our work. I would now like to introduce my good friend, MT coordinator, Leon Ted Valtusjö from Norway. He will share a little about how we can find and recognize people in our community for their service in these challenging times. Lion Sjöen. Thank you, PCC Hannesson. Melvin Jones Fellowships and Progressive MJFs are ways LCIF and our Lion community can thank us for our commitment to empowering our service. Fellowships and the related recognition items are LCIF's way of thanking us for our ongoing support and doing the right thing. I am a member of Lions Club Skudneshavn in District 104C in Norway. I became a Lion in 2005 after having been a Leo for 10 years before that, since 1995. I've been asked to tell you how or why I became a Lion. I think the question is not about how I became a lion, but more interestingly, how I remained a lion through all these years. To be honest, it hasn't always been easy. However, I think the secret to me still being a lion is that within the different clubs of which I've been a member, there's always been an openness to my ideas and my personal initiative. Those causes that I burned for have always found a good home in the club, in the district, and also multiple district, even though they originated outside Lions. So by cr creating room for my out of Lions interests, Lions have gained another new inside of Lions activity. This has been beneficial for all. So looking back at that, and in our present public health situation, this has made me think a lot about the people present in our daily lives who have a great passion for service and who goes the extra mile in helping others, but who are not lions. Maybe they don't know about us. Maybe they're not sure they're comfortable joining a club. It's still possible to thank them, to let them know people appreciate them and recognize their efforts. Also in doing that, letting everybody know that Lion is a welcoming association of service-minded humanitarians just like themselves. We do not need to wait for our current health crisis to end for clubs to show appreciation for healthcare workers, teachers, and other frontline workers serving the public in these dangerous times. If your club knows someone serving their community and who in doing so embodies the spirit and thoughts of lionism, find a way to thank them. Perhaps make them a Melvin Jones fellow. Please continue to look for people who embody our values and offer them a place in our community. Let us continue to do what we can to support each other and to say thank you whenever we get the chance. It's the right thing to do. 
During my talk, you've seen the names of Melvin Jones Fellows and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellows from MDs 104 and 106. We will continue to recognize all our fellows as our recognition event continues. As we continue our recognition and celebration, my colleagues will be sharing more about LCIF's support of cause areas we care about deeply and to which we dedicate our service. Past International Director Howard Lee will begin our exploration. PID Lee. Thank you. Firstly, uh, many thanks to all our speakers today. Uh, it always warms my heart to hear about our foundation and the amazing things we do as Lions. I'm uh, Past International Director Howard Lee from Farnham in Surrey in England, and I'm proud to serve as campaign area leader. The specific areas I support are multiple district 105, British Isles, MD 110, that's the Netherlands, and single district 133, that's Ireland. I'm also here to help as necessary with multiple districts 118, Turkey, and single district 128, Israel. I have to say I'm very fortunate that we have excellent coordinators in all the areas that I oversee. Also, many thanks for this opportunity to talk about our Lions long held imperative, that is to fight preventable blindness across the world. And thanks for the opportunity to talk about Lions Clubs International Foundation's Site First programme, which is one of our foundation's most popular service areas for, for grant funding. Now, as you know, vision has been one of the most important causes of Lions for nearly 100 years now and Site First grants have enabled Lions to implement large-scale vision projects worldwide. With your support, significant Site First grants will continue long into the future. And during my presentation, please join me in celebrating the Melvin Jones Fellowship and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellowship recipients from multiple districts 105 and 110 and single district 133 as we see their names come up. Now their generosity makes possible our LCIF programs such as Sight First. Ultimately, these generous Lions help to bring sight to many thousands of people in need. Now Lions Clubs International has supported sight conservation continuously since 1925, but Sight First is our first major coordinated program it was launched in 1990 with the mission to build comprehensive eye care systems, to fight the major causes of blindness, and to care for people who are blind or visually impaired. The Site First grants focus on helping Lions deliver eye care services to underserved populations. As such, it supports projects for renovating or equipping existing clinics, projects relating to preventing diagnosing and treating vision challenges, helping deliver training for eye care professionals. Site First grants also help us increase awareness and education around eye health. Now, thanks to the tireless work and fundraising of Lions, we can be hugely proud that as of today, more than 1,300 Site First funded pro projects have been implemented in more than 100 countries. This work would not have been possible without your generous support of LCIF, nor would it have been possible without the tremendous efforts of committed Lions like yourselves working on the ground in site projects. In this context, I'm truly honoured to have been involved since its inception with the Lions International Eye Centre in Kolibu in Ghana. This is a partnership of many interests but principally of Multiple District 105, Moorfields Eye Hospital in London, LCIF, and the West African College of Surgeons. We've built and equipped a brand new state-of-the-art unit. We've designed and constructed a whole suite of subspeciality training courses, and we're now training ophthalmic surgeons and their teams from across the West Africa region. This is bringing to the whole of West Africa ophthalmic procedures never before available in the region and it's saving the sight of many thousands of people. This fantastic outcome would not have been possible without the tremendous support of LCIS Site First Fund and now of Campaign 100. 
my fellow Lions, LCIF is there to enhance and support the efforts of Lions clubs and districts around the world. It does a fantastic job. But it cannot do so unless all Lions return that support by making contributions to LCIF, either through fundraising efforts or by personal donation. Once again, I thank you all for your tremendous support for LCIF. Now, it's my pleasure to hand over to past District Governor Claudia spees Kiefer. Thank you. Thank you very much, PID Howard. It is wonderful to hear the amazing impact of our South First Grant programs and the exciting work being done in support of vision by you all and Lions around the world. Dear Lions, welcome to this Recognition Day. First, I would like to introduce myself to you. I am past District Governor Claudia Spieskiefer from Munich in Germany. As area leader for Campaign 100, I am responsible for the multiple districts, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. During my presentation, you will see the names of lions from these countries who were recognized with a Melvin Jones Fellow or Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow this year. Contribution like theirs are exactly what makes LCIF projects possible. A very important program since many years is Lion's Quest. You might have heard about it. For those who may not know, I'll share that Lion's Quest is a youth education program that focuses on teaching social and emotional learning just as other programs teach academic skills. Social and emotional skills provide the foundation for effectively dealing with anger and frustration, preventing negative behaviors and developing positive school behaviors that increase academic performance. In other words, like Lions Quest is a research and evidence-based life skills program. Skill building doesn't just happen in the classroom, which is why Lions Quest incorporates community and family through activities such as service learning and parent meetings. The curriculum is divided into three segments. Skills for growing serves grades K through five. Skills for adolescents, lessons and activities are designed for students in grades six through eight. And grades nine through 12 are served by Lions Quest Skills for Action curriculum. Each grade level group provides sequential skill building lessons. All three Lions Quest programs help foster in young people important life skills healthy attitudes, strong character, positive relationships, and active citizenship through easy to use classroom materials, professional development of educators, and important community partnerships. LCIF and Lions have helped implement Lions Quest here in Europe and worldwide for more than 30 years and the program has proven to be extremely impactful. Germany is one of the prime examples for the implementation of Lions Quest. In our schools, the program consists of three main elements. Since the start of Skills for Adolescents in 1997, Lions Quest reached an increasing popularity and today has become the leading life skills and prevention program in Germany. And it's also implemented in Austria. Lions Quest is recognized by all federal education ministries as an official teacher training. In recent years, approximately 5,000 teachers attended a Lions Quest seminar each year. Through Campaign 100, 
participating schools are taking holistic approach by not only training the majority of their teachers with Lions Quest, but also establishing a local network for students to take an active and integral role in their respective communities. I believe Lions Quest is one of the most important LCIF programs as it empowers children globally by investing in their future and therefore investing in the future of our world. Lions, thank you. It has been a pleasure speaking with you about this amazing program. And of course, thank you for joining me in continued support of LCIF and Campaign 100. It is my honor to now introduce past District Governor Istvan David. Thank you, PDG Claudia, for your insight into LCIF Lions Quest program. What an amazing program, impacting children and students in the Europe and around the world. My name is Istvan David, past district governor in single district 124 Romania. And uh, within campaign 100, I serve like LCIF area leader for area 4C, Central and East Europe. I am Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow with Seven Diamonds and member in an advanced modern club, Lions Club Brasov. Today, I am grateful for the opportunity to share information about LCIF Diabetes Grant Program. As with our other presenters, my presentation will broadly include the names of recipients of Melvin Jones Fellow and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow recognitions. These fellows are from several single districts throughout our constitutional area, and I am delighted to celebrate them with you. LCIF Diabetes Grant Program is made possible by the generous donation of Lions like our Melvin Jones Fellow and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow recipients. These grants are also made possible by every other Lion and Leo giving at whatever level they can. They can. The Diabetes Grant Program is aimed at helping you to serve to reduce the prevalence of diabetes and improve quality of life for those diagnosed with statistically speaking one in every 11, 11 of us is. LCIF Diabetes Grant launched in 2018 with the first grant applications approved the following year. So it is relatively new grant offering. In the short time, however, LCIF and Lions have impacted so many. LCIF diabetes grants help us address challenges in so many ways diabetes camps and retreats, encourage interaction and education among peers in positive, medically safe environments. Trainings these grants make possible established and expand medical professionals, expertise and educate our communities. Our foundation diabetes grants also help you and your club to develop infrastructure to improve healthcare access by expanding and renovating health facilities and equipping them with important medical devices. And finally, these grants help you to organize diabetes screening events in partnership with healthcare professionals to identify other risk individuals and make sure they receive follow-up care. Lions and LCIF are together fighting this debilitating and often deadly disease. Globally, 
nearly 500 million people now live with diabetes, putting turn dose burden on our healthcare systems. The disease also is the, the, uh, the disease also disproportionately affects vulnerability, vulnerable and low income population. But they are really scary thing. It is that about half of those with diabetes do not know they are ill. There isn't a cure for diabetes, but we can fight with, we can fight it with education proper screening and appropriate lifestyle changes. That is where you, your service projects and your support of LCIF can make sure such a big difference. Uh, I would like to share very briefly one of my personal experience regarding LCIF diabetes program. Two years ago, my district applied for a diabetes grant and it was approved. We organized five camps in five different cities for insulin dependent children two years in a row. Prevention and education. It was a real success. You can find the details for on this activity on LCIF website. Once again, Please join me in congratulating and thanking all our new Melvin Jones Fellows, our progressive Melvin Jones Fellows, and in no welcoming past international director, Nesim Levy. Thank you. Hello, Lions. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And I would like to especially thank uh, past district governor Istvan for his uh, kind introduction. I will share with you more about uh, LCIF support on our work in disaster relief and preparedness. And I will tell you a bit more about myself in a moment. But first things first, I like to shine the spotlight on the latest Melvin Jones Fellows and progressive Melvin Jones Fellows from the great countries of uh, Turkey, Israel, Greece, and Cyprus. Multiple District 118, 117, and District 128. I'm sure they appreciate a virtual round of applause. I'm sure you are going to give them that now. LCIF disaster, uh, disaster relief grants include emergency grants which provide up to $10,000 in case of a disaster. And it is immediate, very quick, and that is to help lines react immediately. I lived through that. As you heard, I'm past international director Nesim Levy. I, the photo you see on my left, on your left, uh, is my family. And I'm behind the, the camera. The tiny thing on the upper corner was not born yet when we were taking that photo. So I added it up. On the right hand side, it's a partial picture of the day I became a lion. That is about 45 years ago. I served in almost all offices. And lately I was for about 20 years, I was a group leader for district governor select, trying to train them and share experiences. <clears throat> As you all well aware now, Lions Lark are, are Melvin Jones Fellows or progressive Melvin Jones Fellows and all Lions are those who make LCIF's grants possible. In the area of disaster relief, Lions who donate to LCIF empowering service funds and emergency relief funds make it possible for our global foundation to react very quickly to support communities in great need. That need is right here in Europe also too often. 
And we'd be remiss in not thinking about our fellow world citizens who th suffer through natural disasters around the globe. For example, a community recovery grants provide up to $20,000 in case of floods or similar emergencies uh, to address the needs after a natural disaster. And LCIF major cutouts of grants help us respond to large scale natural disasters as well. In addition, our foundation's preparedness grants help us become ready for a devastating event we know that eventually will occur, for uh, like earthquakes in some countries, like mine. We all remember the devastating explosion in Beirut just a year ago, and the outpouring of lines uh, to, of support in response to this, this tragedy. Following uh, the recent, recent earthquake in Croatia, we saw amazing lion support. Donations in support of these disasters came to LCIF from multi multiple districts, clubs, and individual lions, and also non-lions as well. For example, in the earthquake we suffered in Turkey in 1999, 20 years ago, donations flew from all around the world to LCIF and from LCIF to our multiple district. And uh, we, in, we, with this support, we built communities and container houses, especially container villages, eight of them. We had a program to visit them every other week. So they knew that they were we were coming and we were providing to all their needs, including social or material. And one day when we were driving to one of these villages, we saw that there was papers on the windows of each container. We came a little closer and there was a writing in Turkish. And this writing in Turkish could be translated to the most beautiful people on earth, lines. For me, this was the day that made me realize that the day I joined the Lions, as you saw on the uh, photograph at the beginning, was maybe one of the most important days in my life. And what they mean here by the most beautiful people on earth, it's not only us Turkish Lions, it's the Lions all over the world who helped us help them. One thing is clear, when there is a community in need, you, we, all of us are there to help. Lions in and around the community step to serve. And when the need exceeds, exceeds our resources, then LCIF is there to support and empower your services, the Lions services. And before I leave you Lions, indulge me please with another round of applause for our Melvin Jones and Progressive Melvin Jones fellows who make this greatly possible. It's been my pleasure to join you today and it is also my great pleasure now to introduce past council chairperson and good friend, Jose Carvalho. Past international director, Nessim, thank you. Lions, hello. My name is Jose Carvalho Lopes, and I am a past council chairperson of Multiple District 115, Portugal. 
I'm a lion since 1987. I'm a teacher. I believe in lion. I believe in LCIF. The impact we lions have of, on communities in need is amazing. When disaster strikes, I know we can count on each other to serve our communities in need. And I know, with our support, LCIF is always there in our time of need. Perhaps the biggest humanitarian crisis in living memory, our current crisis, the COVID-19 global pandemic. Europe has been hit particularly hard, and yet as I discuss these challenging times, you will see the names of recent recipients of Melvin Jones and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellowship from multiple districts 108 and 115. In the face of adversity this past year, these individuals continued to support our foundation as LCIF supported us during our time of need. This past year has been among the most challenging in Lions history and in the history of Lions Club International Foundation. In Europe and worldwide, most of us spent months in confinement, suffered financially and lost loved ones. We mourn the lost life, friendships, and getting together. To hell, we look toward the future with hope and optimism for brighter days. May those days come soon. As with every humanitarian crisis, lions have come forward to serve. It is part of who we are. These with us, there for us, and was, is our foundation. During the pandemic, LCIF has awarded 354 grants, totaling more than 5.3 million US dollars. Our constitutional area alone received 44 grants, totaling 1.6 million US dollars. With these funds, we served our communities by buying and distributing personal protective equipment, purchasing much needed ventilators, and serving vulnerable population in need of food and water. Your stories are inspiring and hopeful and make me proud to be a lion and serve with you. One story of service is particularly moving to me, perhaps because it's a story of impact in my home country of Portugal. In my own, in my own home of Portugal, we received incredible support from LCIF during the pandemic, including an emergency grant for $100,000. Without this very important help, many people would die with this COVID-19 because my country was not prepared for this pandemic situation. I had the pleasure to deliver to the hospital we have in my town, and the general manager told me that the hospital, unfortunately, in that moment, did not have a device like that working well. With this device, I'm sure LCIF and all of we saved many lives. It has been such a challenging year but I have seen you step up to support our communities in amazing ways. It has made me so proud
to be a member of this international organization. Thank you for all you have done during these trying times. And thank you for supporting LCIF so it can always be there in times of crisis and support our important work in making Europe and the world happier, healthier, and safer. And now, it is my pleasure to welcome my friend and co editor leader, Lion Claudia Balducci. Thank you. Thank you, PCC Carvalho. Dear friends, we have arrived at the second highlight of our event, the one that sees the recognition of Model Club. Two colleagues and I will be identifying them and their generous commitment to the LCIF for Implement Campaign 100. I'm Claudia Balduzzi, a real leader of CA4, honored to be able to celebrate these clubs. You will see their name appear by country in alphabetical order during my presentation. And we are fully grateful to each club and its member. I became a lion in 1997 of District 108IA2 Italy. I'm proud that my club, Valli Corone Grue, is a model club. It's a simple story of young members that wish together send an answer of solidarity for need. Philanthropy is a mood and a way of life, something that can grow up with people and share in any contest. Well, we decide all members to develop our service through our community by the commitment for Model Club, sharing to be impactful outside our territory, behind the horizon with the LCIF and through its contribution for all the world's need. This is a powerful and ambitious campaign to support our work of our committed lion around the world. For many of us, is not a recognition or a medal that motivates our effort, but is a smile of a disabled person, the handshake of desperate men, the embrace of a child who can go to school, the grateful look of a family that finds relief from hunger, the applause of a community for the water that flows from a well. We regret not being able to meet in person, but it's important to gather to express our deep admiration for the spirit of humanity that has been expressed by all of our lives. Model Club have chosen to be unique, standard bearers, despite the dramatic economic, social, and public health challenges we face today. Model Club are important to campaign 100 goal of supporting the needs of changing world by expanding lion commitment to communities. We often discuss how 100 US dollar donation empowers your service. 100 US dollar provide immediate relief for four victims of natural disaster. 14 people with access to clean water, pays for two cataract surgeries or measles vaccination for 100 children. Fellow friend, imagine that impact multiply 150 times. A model club with 30 members can provide 15,000 measles vaccination or 300 cataract surgeries. Truly, life-saving and world-changing. For this reason, your clubs link the word model to your own. You include in your specific modus operandi a singular focus of example that put the need of other and build the impact of generosity overall. I joyfully would like to welcome the club that have committed during our campaign, especially in my beloved Italy. Thank you for all representing the work LCIF empowers us to do in our community. 
thank you for supporting visibly and proudly. Thank you, simply thank you for your feeling of solidarity, kindness, generosity, and the, that distinguished you. My colleague, past DC Governor Valentine Kravchenko, will join us now to talk a little more about how you can help with Europe's Model Club goals. Thank you, Lan Claudia. Greetings all from a proud member of the Lions Club Kiev City, District 134 Ukraine. I am past district governor Valentin Kravchenko and I am now in my 15 years of beginning a lion. My club became a model club because we would like to take active part in celebrating 100 years of our great international association, lion service and our charity activity. From one side, it was a little bit emotional decision. We would like to be in the stream of LCI, but in the same time, we had done a roadmap of our future activity, and we clearly understood how to reach the goal. My Lions Club is one of the most active Lions Club in District 134, and we are taking part in a lot of projects of district level. As of the end of April, there were roughly 2.9 thousand campaign 100 model clubs. This represents 2% of clubs worldwide. Yet, these 2% of clubs, the powerhouse, have provided 50% of the donations to campaign 100. In Europe, on about 160 of our clubs are model clubs. We are well below our goal. But there is a good news. There is still time to our club to become a model club. We are still looking for clubs to provide themselves as leaders. If your club is not a model club, talk to your fellow members about LCRS courses and impact. Talk to them about how donations from July uh, 2017 until one year after the campaign, June 2023, Apply to a model club commitment. Your club may be closer than your release to earn model club recognition and provide, provide Europe in helping lead company 100 to success. To the club that have helped to create the impact that makes our community so great. Thank you. Your donation have enabled LCF to respond to the needs of lines here in Constitution Area 4 and all over the world. Thank you, Lions, for your time today and to, for consider, considering the Model Club Challenge and then active on it. For more information on how your club can become a Model Club or move to a higher level Model Club, I would like to introduce my colleague, past council chairperson, Andy uh, Pemberton. Thank you. Thank you, PDG Kravachenko. Fellow Lions, I'm PCC Andy Pemberton. I'm a member of Borsal Common Lions Club, which I joined in January 1983. For those of you who are wondering where precisely Borsal Common is, well, it's in the heart of England, 100 miles northwest of London. Lions and the ethic of service is important to me and LCIF offers the opportunity to deliver service far beyond my community. MD105 was making excellent progress in enrolling clubs onto the model programme. But 12 months ago, COVID restrictions were introduced across the UK. Club meetings went online, fundraising events were cancelled and club reserves were spent. But still, the eight district LCIF coordinators kept working with clubs in the programme. The model clubs have progressed slowly towards target with donations. And also slowly, we've continued to enrol clubs within the programme. There are now 36 clubs signed up, including Exeter, who joined only this week. These clubs are spread across all eight districts. 20 have passed 100% of target, 
five are over 90% and four over 80%. All eight district coordinators have been outstanding, but special mention to Lion Alan Don, who decided to undertake a sponsored walk from coast to coast across the north of England. This is England's Route 66. And it's 120 miles all the way. During the week long walk, Alan also appeared on local television promoting Lions and LCIF. This walk helped his club Keswick achieve, to date, 127% of target, which is the largest in MD 105. Now we look forward to the re restrictions being lifted in July and we can begin working with clubs who are already in the programme to achieve target and enrol new clubs who see the opportunity of achieving the target. PD Kravchenko mentioned that donations from your club and its members since July 2017 count towards your model club commitment. Every committed model club also has until June the 30th, 2023 to meet its commitment. This is the full year after our campaign ends. And it's, this is important for two reasons. It allows your club one year after the campaign to reach its commitment. And it allows LCIF to receive an extra year of fundraising from model clubs for campaign 100. The commitment is a good way to set goals for your club to help LCIF at a time in the future when our global health situation is more manageable. Completing the model club form is as simple as downloading the form, entering the number of members in your club and multiplying that number by 500 or higher if you think your club can reach higher. The donations of every member of your club count towards a commitment and club treasury donations count too. To the clubs that have already made the commitment to becoming model clubs, thank you. Your leadership and congratulations on the impact you're making through LCIF and for empowering all our service. I hope you and everyone knows that 100% of your donations are spent on LCIF programs and grants. 100%. Your leadership is inspiring and it's so important to the work of LCIF and it makes it possible for our clubs. Next, some of our fellow Lions are going to tell you about LCIF's newest course area. The need in those areas and the impact your donations and our work is having. So please join me in welcoming past council chairperson Him Miller, who will start us off. Good uh, morning, everybody. I am past international director Luis Dominguez from sunny southern Spain. Uh, people might ask why I'm a lion. It's uh, but maybe a funny story. Somebody that I knew said, uh, oh, we have a very nice club here. I'd like you to join you. And I said, okay, that's nice. So I became a member. And then I realized that uh, what the Lions were doing in our local community and the world was something really important. And uh, what really impressed me was that uh, we were all volunteers and 100% of the money we were making was for service. And I really liked that. And then I became more and more involved. And I ended up by being an international director. So that's probably my story and made in short. I belong to a small little club. Well, not a small club. We have 40 something members, but a small village called uh, Mijas in, uh, in southern Spain. And uh, my club's been always very involved in our foundation. In both senses, we have received a lot and doing different projects, especially with international aid grants uh, in Africa and South America. And when this uh, challenge we received become a premier model club, I spoke to my club and I said, oh, we receive a lot of help. We should also help our foundation. And that's exactly uh, our decision. And we decided to become a, a primer model club in Europe. And uh, we are very proud to do that. And uh, we are organizing many events uh, to be able to fulfill our commitment 
and and donating the the quantity of money that we are supposed to 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 be a primary model club obviously this this uh uh pandemic has affected not only our club i think all the clubs in the world and obviously this challenge has been more difficult maybe for many of our clubs to to achieve what we decided or we wanted to do to help our foundation but i still think we've got to do it and obviously my club uh we are going to do it and it's our commitment to fulfill this uh this promise and many of you know already that uh we organize every year uh, the world championship or world golf championship for our foundation now uh, we were supposed to have the eighth one this year obviously where else but in southern southern spain and uh obviously it had to be canceled it was supposed to be held in february but i promise you it's going to happen again we will have the eighth world championship in spain next year hopefully in february so we were looking forward to all those who like golf or just wants to enjoy an, a nice weekend in southern spain uh, we will more, more than happy to have you here and uh, organize this uh, tournament in favor of our foundation lcif so uh, we're looking forward to have you all here and thank you so much uh, for giving me this possibility to talking to you all and i really hope to see you all here in spain thank you so much for listening to me Thank you so much, Lion Claudia, PDG Valentin, and PCC Andy for recognizing the amazing contributions of the Mother Clubs of Constitutional Area 4. As a member of one, I feel humble for this recognition, but also proud for playing a small part in the magnificent work that LCIF is doing. I hope many more clubs will join us in this glorious commitment. My name is Heikki Hemmila, Alliance since 1982. Past Council Chairperson and Multiple District LCIF Coordinator of MD107 Finland. Today I have the honor to speak about the new Viscose area and grant program of LCIF, Childhood Cancer. During my presentation, please join me in celebrating the newest recipients of Melvin Jones Fellowship and Progressive Melvins from MD107 Finland. Childhood cancer hits about 150 children in my country of 5 million inhabitants. An average family doctor may encounter just one or two children with cancer during his career. So the diagnosis may easily be missed. And I can say it's hard to get over with. Cancer in a child is different from an adult one. There are no risk factors to act upon and no reason to feel guilty by the parents. It affects the whole family. The parents are shocked and distressed. The siblings often feel abandoned and even friends may take distance. My first thought was, what can we Lions do? But we can do much. We can raise the awareness to get earlier diagnosis. We can help the families in many ways. Finnish Lions, for instance, furnished and decorated the children's ward to make it more homelike and less fearful. We cooperate with an association called Mama Lions. Leveling stairs and thresholds for wheelchair use are some examples. We can arrange recreation or simply do some household tasks to give the family a break. But together with LCIF, we can do big things. I was amazed by what resulted from the partnership with Global Hope. It's Hematology, Oncology, Pediatric Excellence, the Texas-based hospital. They built childhood cancer hospitals in Uganda, Botswana, and Malawi in Africa. They improved the African prognosis. Only one out of 10 survives to the Western level of 80 to 90 percent. But they also function as teaching hospitals. They already have educated over a thousand local nurses and doctors to specialists in this demanding area. Before this project, the African doctors had to go to Europe or USA to specialize with the risk of no return. It's called brain drain. Local lions also contributed. They furnished and decorated the rooms 
and they also help the families who cannot afford the transportation and lodging. The clubs also organize survivors' camps because the families need support even after all is over. Peer support is most effective in helping to recover from the stressful times of treatments and controls when they have constant fear of relapse and to adapt to possible handicaps after many operations and harsh medications. And still, 10% of children with cancer never survive. As a family doctor, I have seen families break apart. Mothers fall into severe depression, unable to work or enjoy life, even for years after. They could have benefited from a stay in a special children's hospice for the last few weeks. LCIF has helped to build the first one in Denmark. It's called Lucas Huset. And after seeing how it works, the state is building another one. Children's hospices have a motto, make the best from the precious but short life. Well, we do not have one in Finland yet. Childhood cancer was adopted to LCIF by the membership query of 2015. The first grant was awarded in January 2020, just a year ago. Childhood cancer is rare, but it affects many lives with even lifelong consequences, not only to the patient, but many people nearby. By supporting LCIF as much as to receive a Melvin Jones Fellowship or Progressive Melvin, I can assure you, you have had a huge impact in many people's lives, something you can be really proud of. And now, please allow me to introduce my friend and fellow Campaign 100 area leader, past international director, Philippe Charondal from Belgium. Thank you. Thank you very much, past council chairperson Aiki, for your kind introduction and for your strong words about the LCF Childhood Cancer Grant Program. Let me introduce myself. I am past international director Philippe Gérondal. When I was a trustee of our foundation, I had the honor of helping to design and prepare the C100 campaign. And I am currently an area leader for its implementation. For me, LCF is really our foundation. We created it, we are administrating it and funding it. And it's the clubs that decide through their grants application what to do with the funds that it has. Moreover, there is no other foundation in the world that better manages the funds it awards as grants. Therefore, I encourage all lines, all club, district and multiple district to increase their support for Campaign 100 in order to increase the strength of our foundation. Today, I am going to tell you about a new LCF grant program, Hunger Grants. First of all, thank you for helping me honoring recent Melvin Jones Fellow and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow recognition recipients from all Europe, including from multiple district 112 Belgium and 112 Spain and district 113 Luxembourg. Contributions from generous lines like this enable LCF to support important new causes, such as childhood cancer and hunger. Hunger and food insecurity are among the most important issues facing our world today, and will continue to be so in the future. According to the United Nations, nearly 1900 million people are hungry in the world even though there is enough food produced to feed them all hunger is caused by rising food and energy prices economic recessions clim climate change and political instability and i must add that by 2025, half of the world's population will not have adequate access to clean water. 
That's why LCF launches the Hunger Grants pilot program. This program provides funding for operational expenses during the startup period of hunger relief projects. In other words, these grants empower people who are working to fight hunger in all communities. You may use LCF grants for a project to build or expand a food bank, a feeding center, or food storage facility. These grants also apply to projects undertaken by Alliance to build or expand school, kitchen, or dining facilities. You may apply for an LCF grant to purchase cookers, ovens, refrigerators, and freezers, or chairs and tables. Perhaps you will be instrumental in a project to equip vehicles to transport, collect, and deliver food to people in need. In my home country, Belgium, many clubs support the food banks or the Help Les Restos du Coeur, an organization founded by the French actor and comedian Coluche. Others, such as the Club of Ypres, run their own social grocery shop. And still others, such as the Club of Nivelle, run their own social restaurant. And many have only been able to carry out their project thanks to the substantial support of LCF. The impact we lions can have on food insecurity and hunger can change the lives of people who are suffering, who may just be in our neighbors. Our generosity and willingness to help put us in a unique position to have a positive impact on those we see struggling. So together, let us make a difference for them. It was a pleasure to speak to all of you today and to, to hear my colleagues speak about the generosity of Lions to LCF and the profound impact our foundation allows us to have in Europe and beyond. Thank you for your continued support at all levels. And now, please join me in welcoming my friend, Pat Chairperson, Oli Feldvelt, who will tell us about one last cause that LCF helps us to support. I thank you. Hello and greetings from Norway. Thank you very much for the warm introduction, PID Philip and for telling us more about LCIF's hunger course area. It is indeed a challenge that it hit closer to home than we may realize. My name is Uli Feltret. I am a PCC and now the area leader of A4, the Nordic countries and the Baltics. I was also the Norwegian leader of campaign site first two. Me and my family lives on the west coast of Norway, close to Stavanger, the oil capital of Norway. I became a lion in 1994 after begging to join. My wife Astri is also a lion in the same club, Lions Club Sannes Riska. Before I proudly speak about one final LCF course area, another new course critical to us in Europe and important to our world, I want to share multiple district 101, Sweden's recent recipients of Melvin Jones Fellow and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellows recognition. Cheers to these lines for their dedication to LCIF, campaign 100, to your service and to mine. The environment, this is among LCIFs and our new courses, course areas an area in which we are able to create positive impact based on generosity of lions like you and LCIF humanitarian grants. Did you know there are more than 3 trillion trees in the world and uh, forests cover nearly 30% of our planet's land area? But sadly, over 15 billion trees are cut down each year. Since the beginning of human civilization, the number of trees on our planet has decreased almost 
a statistic that truly alarmed me when I first read it. But as lions, we can help slow this uh, environmental change and the damage it is causing our world. Working together and with grant from Lions Clubs International Financial, we can strengthen the relationship between our communities and uh, environments. Our stewardship protection of natural resources can improve quality of life of our communities today and preserve the world for future generations. With LCIF grant funding, perhaps through district and, district and club community impact grants, your club can organize the planting of public gardens and new trees. Our clear or clear trash in and around nearby natural spaces. We can organize projects to maintain the health of our natural water resources. Around the world, lines are also working to improve access to clean drinking water in communities where it is scarce. I wish to present to you the fantastic story about the Swedish lions initiated by lion Mersel Ismail Isa have done to improve access to drinking water to more than 15,000 inhabitants in Kwandala district in Somalia, East Africa. Clean water is the most important base of healthcare and sufficient, sufficient social life. Through field studies, they knew exactly where to drill. Lions Project Water Means Life started drilling and managed to find quantities of pure drink water of very good quality in one of the world's driest places, namely northeastern Somalia. This project was granted 100,000 US dollars from LCIF. Among many kinds of projects the LCIF supports is this one of them. Be proud of being a supporting liar and be proud of what we achieve. Of course, our environment course area is new and we continue to explore ways in which we can preserve our world. Your support and support from your club enables us to explore opportunities and bring projects to communities where the dangerous effects of environmental change are already felt. To MD 101's newest Melvin Jordan Fellows and Progressive Melvin Jordan Fellows, I offer sincere thanks and congratulations. And to all of you in the great constitutional area for thank you for joining us here today and for the continued generous support of LCIF and Campaign 100. You all inspire me and make me so proud to be a lion and part of this global community for good. Thank you all. Thank you, PCC Fjeldvet. Former President Grimaldi and I will invite our lead and major donors to say a few words shortly. But before we do, I would like to acknowledge that our public health situation has been an extraordinary challenge this year. And now many of you have responded to COVID-19 by donating to both LCIF and your communities directly. The response has been great in Europe because the need is so great. Tragically, we have lost so many, including lions, to this illness. I have known some personally. Before we proceed, I would like to ask that we all take a few moments to remember these friends we have lost this year. Leadership in times of peace is easier and almost always preferable. Many of you have led in so many different ways during these troubling times. I want to thank you for that. There are now seven Campaign 100 lead and major donors in CA4. I have been fortunate in my life that I can lead in this way. I am humbled by that opportunity. Why do I donate to LCIF? Why did I become a major donor? Because I want to make a real difference in the world. For me, service is both doing and giving. 
I joined Lions because of LCAF 30 years ago when I learned about LCAF's first fundraising campaign, Site First, and the amazing good Lions are doing worldwide. I realized I wanted to be a lion, be a part of something big and important, and on an international scale. All of us want to serve our communities, but there might be more needs somewhere else in the world. Actually, our community extends around the globe. We hear about terrible natural disasters, hunger and diseases, and we really want to help. How can we help? The answer is with LCIF. 100% of every donation to LCIF is applied to our global programs. Today, serving with our hands in person remains challenging. But remember, to serve means both do and give. I am generous of my time, whether it is for hands-on projects or raising funds with my club or training my fellow lions. This is all about doing. But I like also to give. I like to be generous with money from my own pocket. That is giving. It feels good to help people in need. And I want to lead by example. And I'm a major donor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairperson Godrum. I am a pledged mayor donor in campaign 100, and I trust LCF because I have worked with the foundation for the entire my life. I was in Dallas in 1968. At that time, I was a governor. I was just beside a great gentleman, uh, Jim Carter, former president of the United States of America. He was governor of the district of Georgia, and I was district governor of my Sicily. At that time, we approved in 1968 the LCA, the LCA, that was the name, Lions Family Foundation. Afterward, uh, I had uh, the great uh, joy to see that the first donation arrived to LCF was uh, coming from uh, a gentleman from Italy, Nunziante Cesario, Bari Lions Club. And in 72, uh, 73, 73 I had the great joy, uh, at that time I was a trustee of LCIF because all the international directors were trustees, to accept the first, uh, to accept the resolution to give the first do donation of $1,000. And after that, after that, I have the great honor and pleasure to be uh, member and uh, later president of the uh, technical advisor committee of uh, for such first of at that time alliance Club international foundation and, uh, and now i am the chairperson of the european executive committee for campaign Another, in another word, from 1968 to today, I have devoted my life to LCIF. Uh, and so, of course, I have also examined all the LCIF annual report, the financial disclosures, the funding model, the responsibility, and the private information. In other words, I am an informed investor, <laughs> apparently. Best of all, I am an involved investor who is investing, listen, who is investing in my, in my personal own selves and my own community. Like all of you, right? Okay.
Dear fellow Lions, my name is Elia van Delle from Lions Club Ronse, Belgium. LCIF Chair Gudrun asked me, why is it essential to give back to society? Well, let me share my story. November 7, 2003, I received my very first Marilyn Jones Fellowship recognition from the late LCIF Chair KK Fukushima during his visit to Belgium. And I'm still very proud to wear this original MGF pin. I will never ever forget his quote with a wink. He said, dear fellow Lions of Europe, when you give to LCIF, you get more for less. If you look at the current US dollar to euro exchange rate ratio, his quote still remains lively today, isn't it? Let that one sink in. Four years later, during the DGE school at LCI convention, Chicago 2007, another important milestone. With my club, I took the lead for an ICT development service project of the only school for the blind and low vision students in Bhutan. Bhutan, my second homeland. I had a chance to explain this project to the staff at the LCIF booth. They listened carefully to me and they were so kind to, to introduce me to Peter Lynch. Peter supported me immediately with useful tips and references. I'm still grateful for that. And therefore, I made my very first donation of 1000 US dollar to LCIF and repeated it at every visit to the LCIF booth during the next international conventions. Just to recognize the staff working very professionally. Not to forget the excellent functioning of the LCIF Board of Trustees. As an accountant, besides the four star charity navigator award, I still keep that 2007 Dahlberg business guide for partnering with NGOs wholeheartedly. The scores that our foundation achieved were stunning. We scored on top for accountability, adaptability, communication and execution. I can assure you for an accountant that counts. Since 2012, I was designated as LCIF district coordinator for several years. What a great time to spread the word to our Lions clubs. And I felt like a professional fundraiser, you know, because when you don't ask, you will never, you will never get anything. In June 2015, the members of our club and Lions Club Druk Bhutan were able to finalize another project for the Munsling Institute in Bhutan with the financial matching support of the foundation, an international assistance grant for an ICT computer lab and braille production unit. In business terms, I could say your return on investment is even more than 100%, not to say 200%. When I was elected International Director 2016-18, I had the privilege to serve both Centennial International Presidents Bob Kalu and Naresh Agarwal. At that moment, I understood the full meaning of lead by example. The international organization on all levels, whether it was club, district, multiple district or LCI, they all gave me so much. Since then, it was time to give back. Right now, 
I still continue to support LCIF campaign 100 vividly. Please just ask yourself, why is it essential to give back to society? Well, I can tell you, it improves your mental health, it improves your physical health, it expands your network. You develop new skills. It transforms your perspective. And most of all, it fulfills your deepest human needs. Like LCIF Chair Gudrun told in her latest newsletter, and I quote, although it could be a small gesture for you, for someone else, I tell you, giving will make you happier. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve our community of lines. I thank you for your attention. Dear Lions of Europe, I am PID Svein Bansen from Lions Club Aske in Norway. I'm also endorsed candidate for third vice international president. And I believe very much in leading by example. This is why I always work on projects locally or internationally. And I could not have done that without LCIF. You know, the most important about running projects in Lions is of course the hands, the brains and the willingness and motivation of 1.4 million Lions out there. But we also need money. We need the money to run projects. Without money, no projects. And this is why LCIF is so important. I am myself a major donor. I donated just two years ago, 25,000 US dollars, and I've now started my second pledge. I don't expect everybody to pay or donate 50,000 US dollars, but I think we could all do a little more. And remember, without LCIF, without the money, we cannot do what we want to do to help the people out there in need throughout the world. So please donate a little, help LCIF. Thank you. My name is Christian Hannesson, member of Motion by Alliance Club in Iceland. When I was serving on the board as a board appointee, past international president of the Yamata asked if I could consider to become a major donor. I didn't think about it too long and signed the papers. As an LCF coordinator, I had to set a good example. I would not be able to ask others to support LCF if I didn't do it myself. The main reason, however, was different rapidly growing spread of measles. I was filled with sadness when I heard how serious the situation was and how many kids were dying. I want to make my mark so that children could be vaccinated. I'm very proud and feel good in my heart to have been able to contribute. I encourage all who listen to me today to make a personal donation to LCIF. Talking about oneself is an exhibitionist and complicated exercise. It's much more meaningful to give voice to a smile, a look, a gesture, an emotion. As you all know, we have lived through many of them on our skin in this past year, vain with sadness, misery, tears that have marked our family, our daily life, and our world in heavy way. Life has changed our way of communicating, working, traveling, studying, living, but in me, despite everything, has left a good dose of optimism anchored to that immense, inexplicable and overwhelming feeling that is love, love for, love from, love cross, love with, love that moves 
everything leads to a reflection on how to share the gratuitousness of a time, of an attention, of a project, of a dream. If I can dream something for a favorable fate, is right that I offer the some possibility to someone else. This is a perspective that I invite you to consider because of the satisfaction this intrinsically gives. If I can suggest then who to direct it to, here is what I propose. Lions Club International Foundation. Solid, reliable reality that allows you to give the side of internationality that is difficult to obtain for other NGOs. Leaving a trace of yourself, or rather giving a trace of yourself, means opening a window on a world that also needs me, my little or my much. The sign that I give with the answer of concrete, open, possible realization. The amount then is just a number that shifts the focus on the inspiration behind the gift the gratuitousness and the perception that we should all have the same chance to have a life more worthy of being lived. Fellow friends, solidarity certainly has many nuances, many declinations, and even better offers the possibility to recognize merit and aim to awareness that pushes to give and to do more. So I can only encourage you to be core of what is typical lionistic character that join us together for a common purpose we serve. It's only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eyes. This is Lion Athanasius Maimaris. Uh, I'm from Cyprus and uh, I am in Lions Club Nicosia Cosmopolitan. This club was founded in 1974, the same year uh, that I was born. Um, I joined uh, Lions to be able to help people by volunteering in uh, any means uh, possible uh, because uh, as Lions, uh, we're expected to donate our time, uh, not our money. But of course, uh, donating money also helps LCIF to fund large projects all over the world. And uh, this is going to help people that uh, we don't even know. But uh, LCIF knows where the needs are and uh, knows how to uh, fund uh exciting projects that help a lot of people uh, in my case uh i donated a large uh, sum of money uh last year uh in memoriam of my father stelios that passed away uh not through covid uh but through cancer and uh it was at a, a time that I could not even visit him at the hospital uh, due to restrictions of COVID. So this was uh, one way of me uh, saying uh, to the world that, uh, okay, uh, bad things happen, but uh, we can use uh, these uh, bad situations for the better to help humanity uh, through LCIF. Uh, my father is the one that uh, taught me volunteering. Uh, although he, he himself was not a lion, he was always uh, helping others and taking me along uh, to the various little projects he had of uh, helping people. Uh, and that's where I learned uh, the value of uh, helping people. And I'd like to continue that uh, forward in his memory. Additional lion with us tonight, whom I would like to thank. Past District Governor Danilo Francesco Guerini Rocco, 
Over the years, PDD Danilo has been generous with his time and in his donations to LCIF. He was district coordinator during the campaign Site First 2, during which he helped raise over 1 million US dollars through his district to help lions address blindness and vision challenges in our communities. PDD Danilo has continued to be a leader in lionism for LCIF. He continues to support Campaign 100 by, note, by donating generously in accordance with his ability and by working closely to support his LCIF co district coordinator. Today, we recognize PDD Danilo Francesco Guerini Rocco as a CA Force seventh recipient of the Friends of Humanity Medal. PDD Danilo, thank you for your continuing leadership, trust in our programs, and support for our foundation and our service. I welcome former President Grimaldi for his closing remarks. And I'll use this opportunity to congratulate you all on your generosity and thank you for your dedication and hard work. Goodbye. Now, we are at the end of this fantastic meeting all over the Europe. I enjoyed it very much. I congratulate, let me congratulate each and every one of you and be very thankful to our chairperson uh, of LCIF, Madame Gudrun Ingvadotter, a wonderful leader. And also very grateful to every one of you, the donors. Without, without you, we cannot do anything. You are the, the, the heart of, of, of this campaign. And I thank you on behalf of the Club International Foundation, the campaign 100, for what you are donated for the other to allow other people to have a smile and to be able to say well those lions are not bad it's been a wonderful meeting god bless all of you thank you to the people who organized the, 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 the our uh corner and power who have uh, organized such a, a meeting and uh, May in the coming time have uh, the possibility to, uh, to to give a big hug to each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Be proud of the Lions Club International Foundation. Bye bye. LCIF allows us to be involved in so many causes and projects in our lion community. I would like to introduce an adventure team of hikers who have chosen single-handedly to raise money for an LCIF project and to honor Chairperson Gudrun in their efforts. Donations helping them reach their goal are campaign and MJF eligible for all lions. Here they are. My dear lions, my name is Armene Ogenisian, a member of the Kili for Kids team and this year's district governor of District 123, Russia. In 2018, our association, after 101 years, elected the very first female international president, Gudrun Guadotir, who chose to promote gender equality and women empowerment, not only in our association, but within the communities where lions operate. This inspired 10 women from 10 different countries who were also lions to initiate a unique and very challenging project. The Kili for Kids team decided to challenge the tallest mountain in the African continent, Mount Kilimanjaro, and at its peak, 5,895 meters, raised the lion's flag. This was a challenge, not the objective. The project focus was to fundraise 100,000 US dollars to build classrooms in the nursery school in Kenya, which hosts orphans and children from very poor families in local community, giving them opportunity to access the proper education. As I talk to you, we have already collected 70,000 US dollars and working hard at reaching the final goal, just like the tremendous effort we put into our climb to the peak of the amazing and perilous mountain. When I first volunteered to be part of this project, I had many doubts because I had never experienced a mountain climb of such difficulty. I was almost ready to refuse, 
but then I realized that it wasn't about me and my fears. It was about making a difference for a lot of children who have an unprivileged every day of their life. 10 women from 10 different countries, 10 different backgrounds and walks of life as one team for one clear objective. In August 2019, we all met in Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. Enthusiastic, excited, afraid, but full of passion and determination to take the peak. The climb was tough, tougher than we expected. Lack of food, sleep, freezing cold nights, wet tents, altitude sickness. Each step got harder and harder as we got closer to the top. But we are the Kili for Kids team. We don't give up. We shared our medicine, food, smiles, words of comfort that fueled our determination to reach the top. This has taught me that when you are not alone, nothing is impossible. We have conquered the first part of the project by flying Lion's flag at 5,895 meters of Mount Kilimanjaro. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic slowed down our fundraising, but we are determined to go ahead. We are almost there. We need just a little help from you and your communities so that we can reach the final goal, so that we all can give a little smile to those kids who deserve better from life. We can do it together. You can become a part of this project. Join us.